uh, Governor Babajide Sonwolu's Blue Box Initiative. Uh, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu uh, on Thursday last week launched the Blue Box program uh, aimed at encouraging waste sorting in a bid to achieve its goal of a cleaner Lagos devoid of filth. The Blue Box program is a single stream recyclable collection program that will encourage separation of recyclable materials from the general waste at the point of generation. Uh, the governor said with a huge population, Lagos generates over 10,000 metric tons of waste daily, saying there was no way the old method of waste disposal could be sustained as it is old-fashioned. The gov governor also said the target of the program was to ensure the state achieved 50% of recyclable waste by 2021, as well as create green economy and finance. All right, gentlemen, here we are again, you know, with another uh, strategy to combat the issue of waste. We know that is one of the biggest problems Lagos State has. So how are we looking at this uh, Blue Box initiative? by the governor you know i keep asking myself um it seems that the governors we have in this country have something to do with waste um because every new government comes up with new concept new ideas about waste but waste management. disposal waste collection waste management yeah. is a problem yeah. in Lagos no, no, let, me we know that. let me finish mm -hmm. we know that this whole thing about separation of waste from the source mm -hmm. has been on mm -hmm. um i remember um was part of when Fashola came, that was the first thing they tried to distribute them some nylons and they wanted people to, you know, sort them out. It didn't work. Um, Vision Cape, or Vision Cape, or whatever they called them, with um, Ambo, they also came on board. They tried, it didn't work. Now, um, Songolu is going back to wait. And then the question I'm asking is, What kind of waste do we even generate in Lagos? We need to understand. Because in the homes, what kind of waste do they generate in the homes? Leftover foods, you know, added to pure water. A lot of plastics, plastics and nylons. You know, so I, I, I think that, you know, something is wrong somewhere. I remember a few years back when I was growing up in secondary school, you pass um, as if you're going to Adeni Jadili. They have this beautifully built um, um, collection center mm -hmm. where they separate everything. What has happened to it? Why is the Lagos State government not thinking about it? Because when you want to separate waste, Nigerians are not used to, homes are not even used to separating at source Putting different, different kinds you know, of waste, waste different. Different, you know okay. because even when you do that the collection is another problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we all know how this um loma and their psp people collection has been a big huge problem mm -hmm. okay i think we should go back Lagos State government should think mm -hmm. in that direction mm -hmm. and go back to that which they had few years back mm -hmm. in the times of jack on it worked perfectly well okay all right let me hear max's take i, I think well to me um it's a welcome development um if you go if you drive around lagos let me be precise ikeja Oba, Agege, blah 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 you see heaps of waste mm. even the drainages the gutters are being filled up um if you let me be specific if you go to um, Faber, Faber Junction, look at the drainage there. Mm. It's covered with uh, plastic uh, water. Bottles and all It doesn't that. allow free flow mm. of um, water and things. Mm. I go to the, chan the, the canals and things like that. Um, like you said, I, my worry is that um, uh, let it not be like uh, what we experienced last year or last three years because uh, it worsened within the last four years because Lagos became bad, bada, baramba. Mm. <laughs> We never experience. We, we try to, I mean, <coughs> express relief when um, Fashola was there. But unfortunately, when our brother came in, uh, Vicious came, came, and blah blah blah. And up to now, we are still having problem with collection. Um, it takes up to uh, between two weeks and three weeks for them to come and collect. They won't even um, gather from various houses. But if it has, if it is not selfish interest anywhere. 
because each one of them that comes in like to introduce what will be beneficial to him hmm. so if it is not selfish intended if it is not something uh, as a compensation to um, so somebody cars, somewhere okay. it's a good development okay all right chicks okay you know um, i'm i'm for anything <coughs> that will improve our environment mm. I'm, i will support it but given the opportunity i would have done something different as a governor of lagos mm. I understand that waste management has always been a problem for Lagos, but I will, I will prefer where Lagos State Government says to do a war against plastics is a better way to approach this. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chilaka here was talking about what kind of waste do we generate. The one that is a big problem are the plastics. Plastic is a problem. So if Lego, if, if we can narrow it down to what do we do with the plastics in Lagos? Mm. If you go to the ocean, there are also a problem. All these plastics mm. end up in the ocean and it's a problem for aquatic life there. Mm. Some of them are there, they will never decay. So if you if you are telling homes, don't let us separate plastic, it's easier. Mm -hmm. The water pools, the bottle water, the Coca-Cola bottle and all those uh, soft mm. drinks and all that. Mm. Just put them on side. If we can take away plastic from Lagos, we are fine. Okay. If you will, this thing I'm telling you is very practical. It is not about sitting down to speak grammar. Mm. This is where the problem is. Yeah. What do we do with the plastics? Good idea. I don't know how they want to go about it, but I'm just telling you what I personally would have done. Mm. If, if Lagos can deal with the plastics, mm. I tell you that uh, waste management is about, in Lagos, up to 50% sorted. If you can take away plastics, what blocks the drainage is plastic. Plastic. What blocks are canal yeah, plastics and waterproofs? PVC, so, so and all you, of if that. If you can take them away, there must be a system to mop them from. Take a walk to Ikeja. <coughs> Ikodo here. Everywhere. All the big gutters you it have everywhere. It is the plastic and the. Okay, um, the, so the, let me just let, let, yeah, let me just add. You know, I think also. Um, uh, uh, Sorry, can I just put, ask this question before I forget <laughs> it? You, you have your say. Um, we do not have that culture of recycling, if you know what I mean. Mm. You know, this is what the governor is proposing. Mm. How are we going to drive this message home? Good. I think that, that's what I was coming to. You know, um, we need to build a culture where homes know that by the time they gather these plastics, yeah, you can make money. Somebody is going to yes, yeah. mm. somebody is going to come to buy it. You know, there was and, economy yes, it. and I think that it is high time the government sits down with these manufacturing companies to say, look, why do you want to help us? Because Coca-Cola has their own plant. Um, Link have their own. Um, and we leave our brand names. Well, all the thing is, all the plastic bottles yes, what I'm saying is that already have like an economy around it, if you know yes. why. But it's yeah, on a local... Yeah, what I'm saying is that... People it, who do Kunu, who do Zobo? They buy this pot from individuals. I know. Anyway. What I'm saying so, is that if corporate organizations get involved mm. to say for every carton of 12 bottles you, you, you give us, mm -hmm. this is what, this you, is get. what you get. Okay. I am telling you, trust Nigerians, nobody will throw bottle out. Even people drive on the road driving, they will be putting them, as they're drinking, they're putting inside their bag because they know that there's an economic value to it. Mm -hmm. So it, it starts from there. So government needs to sit down with these manufacturers to work out a plan. All right. Talking about getting economic value from, for, from our waste, the governor stated that the bulk of recyclable materials were done by scavengers, you know, all mm. the spoils that goes around, and they are unable to pass quality tests to get value for money. Now, that is where the problem is. It is not in gathering uh, the plastic bottles. What is the quality test they're talking about? I think they need to break it down so that people can begin to understand really where they're quality going. Test is yeah. Mm. You know, because it's, I think it's um, maybe by the time they kickstart the the program, mm -hmm. we'll see exactly where the heading where the, Exactly. But mm -hmm. I already have an understanding that we have a governor that seems to understand the issues of environment. Uh, for him to create an office of special advisor on drainage and all those things because that's you know people were making 
jokes about <laughs> it, but for a city like that, like Lagos, that's that's below sea level, mm -hmm. drainage is a big issue. Should, it, should, yeah. it should be point that we are doing it now. Even tells you how we we'll not be thinking. Okay. Mm. Because once any of those drainages and canals get blocked, that is a crisis waiting to happen somewhere, somewhere down. Mm -hmm. It might be fine here, but by the time it gets to somewhere else, you see the, the impact of, 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 of flood. Yeah. And Are you not tackling the issue of plastic bottles? I think there was a time, some time back, where there was this issue of wanting to task Tax uh, the, the producers, the producers of to collect their their, their, exactly. their bottles back. Yes. yes. What happened to that? So we need to know. This, to, is a, this is a new government. So that's what I'm saying. That by the time they continue, mm -hmm. we, they start this. We will know yeah. exactly what the areas were. Definitely, there's no way you won't go back to those manufacturing, manufacturing uh, that, that yes. produce. Of pet course, bottles, you know, drinks and yeah. Pet because before and the idea was, if I buy your bottle, then you pay people to pick it back for you. Mm. It didn't work, but it didn't work. But we we'll now see what exactly what what they've designed for this particular policy. Whether okay. government will take responsibility then for our, that and tax, I don't our know. Our culture okay. of um, being careful how we dispose, mm. because you see people in cars, buses, and blah 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 blah. After drinking water, after drinking from the plastic whatever, throw it throw away. It the and again, these card pushers. Mm. It, it, it seems some time ago the government banned them, but it didn't work. Do you know why it didn't work? Because the lawmen responsible for the collection were not effective. Mm. So these cars in my own area, at times when it stays up to two, three weeks, they don't come. We uh, mm -hmm. then the mm -hmm. when they carry it, there was a one I confronted. He said, "Daddy, do you know that we pay some money to some people? I don't want to be personal, mm -hmm. but now for this now, mm, to he says, this yes. Wow. So that when they see us, they will close their eyes. We pass and wherever we like, we dump it." Even on the mirror, even on the drainage and things like wow. that. So that is the problem. They should be able to make sure that these um, waste are properly evacuated on time. Mm. And the, the the area where it should be dumped, they should also remember that it could be reused again for economic purposes. Okay. No, but, but I have a question to ask, and mm. I'm going to direct this question to His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State. What has happened to all the vehicles? <laughs> Procured under Vision yeah. Scape. Well, they've, all, they, they've already been transferred to the so TSP people. Yeah. I mean, they've changed the, the, the same thing. was not the same thing from the other the first one to the second. Yeah, yeah. And if you it's check all those vehicles, Mr. Now, they Chilaka have, like, wants to shake a table. They yeah. all have me sort of environment. Well, well, I have a reason why I'm asking. Because okay, <laughs> let's look at viewers' response. <laughs> it's true. Somebody like Tinobu should learn from Robert Mugabe. <laughs> 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 all right, this other one says the only way out is that all plastic containers should be sold to companies that use plastics for production. Uh, and also, uh, this one says the only way waste can be controlled in Lagos and Nigeria as a whole is for government to provide means where separation can be done. Okay, this other one says plastic is our problem in Lagos State. Thank you, Johnson, uh, for that. How much is the government willing to pay for the said separation? Because the last time I checked, I still pay Loma for waste disposal, IK from Ogba. All right, this other one says let our government focus on plastic. It takes nothing less than 50 years before it can decay. They should focus on it. Bef now before getting out of hand binga from lagos uh this other one says the best way for lagos state to improve is the government should create organizations where people can go and sell those plastics in selling all those plastic it will reduce the rate of poverty people on the street can feed idowu <coughs> You know, from K2 says, the issue of gathering of plastic waste by scavengers being discussed is the practice in New York. Mm. These scavengers go take them to collection centers where they are paid uh, through the machine. <coughs> last word. No, but, uh, you know, my last word is simple. I think we keep, we, keep, we keep sitting down, we say, government, government, government. The people have a role to play. The people must become conscious of their environment. Mm. Because if the drainages are blocked, <coughs> and the, the rains come and the floods come. It doesn't come to government. It comes to the people. So the people need to understand that even without the government you know, getting involved, they must begin to think on their own how to manage waste. Yeah, the, the family also should be involved yeah, in uh, educating their family that uh, 
OS disposal should be very properly done and uh, be able to inculcate in them the spirit and habit of discipline, not throwing um, uh, the, the, the plastic anyhow. Even in the buses, the commercial transporters should be very, very careful. And I warn their passengers not to throw out throw anything things out, of the, out of the window. I don't so, know how we behave that, in that this country. Exactly. I mean, it's something that is worrisome. Yeah. So we should be educated how to dispose these things. Like you said, these things are, they have an, an economic value mm -hmm. where they can be sell, um, sold and make some money. Of course. Jokes, quickly. I, I, I think the... One of the problems we have in our society is sustainability. We have we start things we don't sustain. Mm -hmm. There was a time when you enter public buses, there are baskets there. Yeah. Do we do see, still see those baskets Nothing because like the that. policy promoters yeah. just want to sell baskets, so, 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 make money, time. and move on. <laughs> so that's 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 why I keep going, coming back to government. Yeah. If the people know that the waste management people are coming as at when due, nobody will drop those people on the road. That's but true. when you don't get that to be very efficient and effective, mm -hmm. we will still keep will coming back. Once you Thank keep you. waste yeah. in your house for one week and it starts to smell, of course, waste, waste, waste. because we are humans. There's no way you will not generate waste. Waste is a part of living. <laughs> yes, you must, but it has to be picked up as at when you. And I think our teachers soon need. We need to go back to them teaching the young ones. I remember in primary school we had that poem. Pieces of paper, pieces of lying on the ground. <laughs> Whenever you see them, you pick them up. You know, we need to start teaching it to the young people. And we, the adults, we should always try and do the right thing. Thank you, Prince mm. Chilaka, for thank coming today. Mazi Obiora, thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you, Chooks. Thank you. All right, thank you, viewers, for being a part of the show today. Again, we'll be back tomorrow for the midweek edition. We hope you join us again. Have a